So good afternoon, gentlemen. Welcome to the Combined Squadron Briefing for 182 and 402 Squadrons on the 27th of December 1944. The time currently is 12.20 hours local. Roll call. Um, I don't remember who I've given section leads to without throughout the squad. This the mission. Uh, Drace. Here. Davies. Here. Uh, Bob. Yeah. Um, I think that's everyone that's doing some section or squadron leading. Uh, Siglims. We are slightly shorter on numbers than we're used to. Digby and Nerf are away. Um, it's not a huge limitation. We are actually using the uh, <clears throat> slight dearth of people at the top to spread some leadership experience about. So we'll see how that goes. But uh, I think we'll be all good. You should all have had a chance, although I only posted it shortly a short time ago, to see to have seen the Warno. Um, we won't go through it too much. We can check it once this. I'll crack through this brief. And you can take a look for yourself afterwards if we need to. Question policy, if we can keep comments and questions to the end, and I'll get through this as swiftly and efficiently as I can. Okay, the environment, significant navigational points then we have in the north, Dusseldorf, Jülich, Köln, Bonn, Zülpich, Nettesheim, Sanvis, and Bastogne, which you will note has been relieved. Situation map, much the same as yesterday. Um, the disposition of friendly forces is, is the same as before on the ground. Again, drawing attention to Bastogne, which has been relieved, and the vicinity of Cell, which has been pushed back, but much much the same as before otherwise. Airspace control plan is the same as it has been for the last week. No change to our areas of responsibility. Battle space, then, the ROE is uh, information golf. As before, no significant updates for the LNHQ. Visual run and break remains extant as we're used to. Concurrent air ops, it's quite busy today. We have the fairly, the increasingly regular nine, uh, 19 TAC and 84 group sorties operating outside their assigned areas. We may hear about what they're doing. We won't have contact with them. However, Nuthouse will let us know what they can. And then for today, we also have C-47s of 9 Troop Carrier Command conducting a supply drop to the 101st in Bastogne. Um, we may see them on our first sortie. We probably won't later on, depending on where we're vectored. Not house is manned throughout. We have Sharp for our first sortie, and then Guido will be leaving us to cover the second and third sorties as Not House and Kenway. Information Golf, as before then, we are uh, in our ground attack role operating outside the bomb line, so we are uh, able to attack targets freely, and on transit across the front line, we can get anything cleared, or if it shoots at us, we can shoot back. Visual run and break as standard. We'll be using that at uh, every airfield we're at today for three separate recoveries for three separate missions. Battle space we have uh, for the counter air. We have sweep uh, cap alpha, sweep bravo, and we have sweep charlie. So as you can see, most of the counter air effort is in the north of the sector today. The Met has changed slightly from what you may have read in the briefing earlier in the week. We're looking at uh, four eighths altostratus at 10,000 feet and six eighths at around 17,000 feet. There are incoming storms, it seems. Uh, no precipitation visibility when not in cloud is still good. Wind direction is still from the west and quite gentle from uh, up to 15,000 feet. It's getting colder and we're at uh, 1010 millibars this week. No warnings for lightning or otherwise. Situation map, as you can see with the recent moves as I already uh, mentioned, we have uh, 30 core, British 30 core, and uh, US 7 core pushing the northwestern uh, area of the pocket. And the third US have pushed into Bastogne, although there was significant resistance in the area, they have linked up with the 101st. The vicinity of Manhe, the uh, Germans are pushing, but we are holding, and the sector is considered secure. Concept of ops today then, commands intent. Is control of the air and attack with a significant att attention to the attack portion, particularly in the south, to try and degrade the enemy's capability to continue their offensive operations on the ground. The scheme of maneuver for us in this briefing is a three phase operation. First phase is attack, the second and third phases are defensive counter air. The main effort is, as mentioned within the intent, the destruction of enemy forces behind the front line where possible to stop them being able to support their current advances in the southern sector. 
allied missions and tasks we have from the start of the of today we have 508 fs thunder who are on a dca sortie there escorting knuckle and then on a scar mission vicinity of Sulpish. dixie are attacking two separate targets afvs uh, near san vith and transports netasheim rattler are top cover for the knuckle raid on the uh supply hub which which is the primary target for the bombers and then there's us we have a scar mission at the vicinity of san vith we're expecting to see some enemy activity in the area which is just behind one of their um, one of the significant areas that they've been that jerry's been trying to push us so we're to hit anything we see in that area phase two we have nomad sitting in cap alpha we have our first um sortie as Macduff, which is a QRA and will not be in Sweep Charlie. We then have our second sortie, uh, which will be uh, covering attacks in the Dusseldorf area, followed by covering Sweep Charlie. Boxer are suppressing enemy air defences around Bastogne for the C-47 flight mentioned earlier. Cobra are sitting as a bar cap in Sweep Bravo um, to keep the enemy off the backs of other friendly forces acting to the west. And then we have Slipper, who are uh, hitting, who who we are covering in the air facility of Dusseldorf, coming in late in the mission today to hit ground targets in that area. So phase one, we have a SCAR mission, armed recce San Vith, as mentioned. We have Dixie and Thunder in the area, although Thunder are in an air-to-air -air role, they may be carrying bombs, and they have their own ground attack after their, their immediate um, Air to air task and Dixie are also on an air to ground task in our area. So, whilst we may support each other, no one is dedicated um, counter air in the vicinity of us. Phase 2A, as we're calling it, this is our defensive counter air sortie on QRA. We will be coming straight to ready, as I explained last week, the different readinesses, readiness levels. We will be going straight to ready in the cockpit, uh, engine on, on the runway, ready to scramble as soon as we spawn in. So, we'll get there as quick as we can. We have Nomad and Cobra coming in during that period for Cap Alpha and Sweep Bravo, respectively. Phase 2B, is again a defensive counter air mission. We are in Sweep Charlie, specifically covering the Dusseldorf end of that sweep where possible for um, Slipper. No supporting assets unless we still have friendlies from the previous section, so um, Nomad potentially in Sweep Alpha, in Cap Alpha, and uh, as mentioned, Cobra in Sweep Bravo. They may still be around for Phase 2B. Execution for phase one, we will be in five minutes after mission start, taking off as quickly as we can, hitting our IP by 25 past, should be over target by 28, and then we have just under half an hour to prosecute targets RV and RTB, we then have a 10 minute break before we spawn in, go straight to ready as mentioned, and we will scramble on orders from Kenway or Nuthouse, land no later than 14.55 for a turnaround into our third phase. This is where I will be leaving you and Davies will be leading this third phase with Bob as 2IC. Um, that's a spawn 1500 or R&R uh, &R, depending on the state of the previous mission. Take off by 15.05. We should then be on station over Dusseldorf by 15.25 and then we have to head off station at maybe 15.45 rather than 15.40 to land no later than 1600. So we should have with those short Shorter missions, some possibility to run the engines a little harder to stay with time, but obviously they're Spit 14, so they like to drink. The chain of command, then, that's this is changing, and I'll take us through it for each um, each orbit. We lose someone from each uh, for each phase that we go through. We lose someone from the orbit. So the orbit is moving around. Please pay attention, and if you need it going through before each sortie, just let, uh, just let me know, and I'll come back to it. Section leaders for the first phase are myself as red one, Davies as yellow one and trace as blue one in all situations for this mission red one will be nav and blue one will be check nav whoever that may be um for comms phase one we are on bravo phase two we are fragged for charlie but maybe moved around by nuthouse and, and phase two a we are back to bravo formation will be left hand finger full where possible but as mentioned we are losing uh pilots through each phase so we will be mixing it up so to that note phase one this is the orbit for the Typhoon sortie. We have myself, Red 1, Hot Dog on my wing as Red 2, Bob as Red 3, with Tommy as Red 4, Davies and Princess making up yellow, and Trace, Guido with Mamelo and Django as blue. 
we'll be landing at, uh, I hope you enjoy the totally not at all edited and particularly legitimate map of uh, Liège, with, I believe, the correct spawn position. 4182, we will be taxiing to the left and we will line up for expediency. We will take red in the south, yellow to the north, and blue to the north of that so we can clear round and we'll launch into wind to the west. In terms of route, then, we'll take off 1310. Our IP is Malmedy. We have then a very short hop to Saint Vith. Similar to last week, with our proximity to the front line, once you have attacked, if you still have ordnance, you are to head out north hit the IP again and re-attack on the same vector to give space between the sections. Once we're complete or on mine or whoever's leading the squadron at the time's orders, we will then head to Vervier as our RV from Vervier to our IP for Liège for recovery. Recovery as before with the legitimate uh, airfield map will be into the wind landing east to west. Phase 2A to start mixing things up that give people opportunities and obviously with the loss of pilots, I will take Hot Dog and Tommy on my wings as red section. Drace and Django will pair up as yellow. Davies will be the 2IC, so check now for this section, for this sortie, with Princess, Bob, and Milo making up the rest of B flight and blue section. For phase 2B, the Orbat again changes. I leave. Davies takes control of the squadron. Princess as red 2, Drace 3, and Hot Dog 4. Bob takes Tommy back under his wing and is 2IC of the section, so Bobby will be checked now for this section. Mello and Django rounding out the two four ships of Spitfires for the sweep sortie. Both Spitfire sorties should be based out of Diest. Again, to, to launch into wind, particularly with the ready, we will be in engines on as fast as possible and over to here. Again, this time we will stack red north and then southward through yellow and blue to launch to the west, but we will do that as quickly as possible as we may be called to scramble quite quickly on the first of these sorties. The first of these sorties there is no route card for. We have uh, Joker for Diest, which is 45 gallons if we're in the vicinity of the Rhine. To get back to our possible divert of Liege is 25 gallons, but we probably will be aiming to look back to get back to Diest so that we can pick up any extra aircraft that we need to. So phase 2B, again, this is where I am not leading, but I will take you through the route anyway. Sweet Charlie is our responsibility. Take off as soon as possible. We'll be 1505-ish. We head via uh, Marsic to Dusseldorf. Now I have us to hold at the eastern end of this, although this is down to Davis's judgment, because we are covering an attack on the airfield at Dusseldorf. We're expecting a time on target from the Mosquitoes of approximately 1540. After that, sweep along Charlie, and from the western end of, of Sweep Charlie, my suggestion is to route direct back to the initial for um, Deist. My suggestion is as an emergency diversion, particularly because of where we are, that Eindhoven is the better option. So from about halfway down uh, Sweep Charlie, 25 gallons or less is a return to Eindhoven. Again, landing east to west for both recoveries. The refuel, refuel and rearm point is in the northwest, so it should be able to land, roll straight to it, reform, and then move around the top of the field to take off again. The threat then in the air remains extant. We're expecting uh, 109s and long nosed 190s as the main threats, although there have been uh, the occasional sightings of other types in the region. We're not expecting to see anything that's going to threaten us there. Surface to air, as normal, is concentrated around major towns, cities, and the front line. Mitigation for the threat from that is to flood transit at medium altitudes. Service support is unchanged. All of these airfields are available for R and R. Liège is the um, only one which is emergency diversions only, but everything is open should we need to land there and can give us turnaround capability. Roger. Roger. Roger, in which case, red one, rolling. Hey, your mic's not the best. 
or too early. Red three rolling. Red four rolling. Yellow one rolling. Yellow two going. Where's your rolling? Blue 3 rolling. Blue 3 rolling. Level. Bingo yellow two, let's go buster until we're abreast with red section. In fact, Dingo A flight, buster, buster, go. Let's catch up with And Dingo call signs, we're climbing for Angels six. Dingo, nut house. Go for Dingo. Stand by for recasky. Uh, yep, he's coming. Dixie, right turn zero nine zero. Zero nine zero. Stop. Retasking as follows. Artillery spotters have identified enemy troop position concealed in woods two seven one five. Correction two seven one nine decimal eight. Smoke rounds to be fired upon enemy at minute two five. Upon sighting smoke, you are cleared hot. Two no seven friendly one forces nine. in the area. Two seven one nine decimal eight. Inspecting smoke rounds on target minute two five. Proceed. Check. 40 minute hold for him. Dingo call sign for Buster Buster Go. Slightly behind for catching those smoke rounds. Blue picture. Roger. Dingo uh, update. Malmody is 2 o'clock from red. We're about to cross it now. Uh, smoke rounds should be falling on our 12 to 1 o'clock. Very close. It's 10 miles. Red, are you on our far 3 o'clock? Eyes on the, eyes on the, eyes on the red. Uh, like uh, 11.30. Not how to push his alpha. Be the big forest, 1130. Red uh, one, visual. Red section, dingo red, push echelon right, echelon right, go. Blue section, you have visual on red? Nine o'clock. Blue four, Roger, blue one. Do you read me? Red one, we see blue four. Check. Uh, technical issues. I'm I'm still in the game, but I'm there behind and uh, to your left, to your right. Do what you can. Right. Yeah. Dingo Red will be peeling in five second intervals, pushing from southwest to northeast. Then we will hit Isenborn and push west to the IP again to reattack. Copy that. Uh, yellow section can follow you up. We're on your left hand side. Roger, visual possible contact tree line around the red smoke. Red one will hit the far side. Copper will push the attack the close side then. Black coming up, red. black coming up. Red one in hot from the southwest. M42 manifold. Sorry, Sorry, last we have 42 for for him. 42 manifold. Yes. Blue 2, visual with smoke. Never mind. Roger, visual on smoke. 
we're going after yellow. In hot. We're doing the close side from uh, where we're coming Just from. One, two, three, those three guys on the high, 11 o'clock, the friendlies. Affirmative. Thank you. I just said, uh, crew mayday, I'm lost, Wayne. Ah. Blue section, echelon right. Echelon right, go. Red chase down. Straight north. Got eyes on me, Red 4. Eyes on. You're 5 o'clock low. Blue 1 in hot. Diving in on the red. Right smoke. Watch flak in the middle. Dixie, Blue. let's avoid that smoke. Blue 2 in the hole. That's like a Barracks. Bomb. I see people at clouds over the smoke. Dixie, fly 110. 110. Dixie, cloud base, probably subbed at escorting local. Pam, I want you to go in first and drive flat. West. More Avia Mountain. Just go on, triple up, triple A shooting straight up on you, 11 o'clock from the street down there. Snad 3, once you're up on me now. Dixie lead, is the target straight ahead here? It's two smoke plumes? Affirmative. Copy, okay. Let's go full power in. Snad 3. Roger. Snap, go for all, full RPM. Full RPM set. Snap three and four. Get a little separation. Um, uh, snap one visual and two. positions right of town. Right of town. Snap three. Copy. What's your bomb delay? Snap three. Bomb delay times five. Five seconds. Copy. I'm gonna stay really close then. Dingo blue one coming left. Double uh, for blue one. Blue one. Oh. I, I see destroyed. a two ship on our six uh, coming out of the sun. I'm starting a right hand orbit. Turning right. Roger, I see Roger. a four ship up there. Tusk one blind on the on the AFVs. I don't see. 45 and 26 for him. Keep an eye on them, blue four. Most likely, yeah, I've lost visual on them. Dixie from Dingo, uh, if you look just southeast of the red smoke markers, that's the road you're looking for, but there's also a barracks area just to the northeast of where we hit. I'm not sure if it's friendly. Probably friendly because it's going to be north of the front line. Understood. Snow 3 moving to the left of Snow 1. Yep. I see you guys. You're good. Uh, uh, Snow Flight, check the road northeast of. Uh, of St. Fifth. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I don't see anything. Dingo left hand ball bit. Marmody. Angels 6. Drop to Angel 6. Break, break. Nuthouse has single pop up bandit group 10 miles north of Ungaran. Track west. Strength 10 plus. Height unknown. Oops. Oh, oh that's close. Yeah. Flag on arm. No Tusk. flag on Nas, Ham. Oh, I have to push it, Charlie. Tusk, 270. 
All right, two seven zero. And for uh, Dixie Dingo, if I'm correct on idea, an ID, I believe you're west of the current target position. Affirmative. We're turning west till we know what those bandits are doing. Right. Uh, Snow, Dingo. come left, two seven zero. Dingo call signs Dingo red one. Does anyone still have rockets left after that attack? Camp turn Ding. west. Yellow Dingo is four rockets. should have a couple more. Blue four has rockets left. Roger. Snow one. Twenty six and thirty five. Nope, twenty six. 35. Okay, Dingo, we're going to finish this turn and push north because the bandits are probably going to hit us before we could make another pass. Hello, 5 o'clock incoming. Go out, is that friendly? Yeah, we have three okay. bogeys coming in around 5 o'clock. Go out to you. Yeah. That's typhoons, I think. Yeah, typhoons. I know they're really coming in, I think they even. Yeah, it's shiny. Okay, I see. Yellow section, buster, buster, go. Four o'clock, that's friendly, so. Two shoot. Yeah. The red one, do you think, uh, do you want to just RT, uh, uh, RTB, or do you want to go back home? I'm going to push us out to the RV. We've got a little bit of time to think, but only about five minutes, and we'll make a decision based on the next report from the task. Tusk, turning right, we're going to orbit this C shaped lake up red here. Red section, you're taking flak. We'll fall on your six. Plus, uh, it's not white, Will. Pick Permission drop date. to engage the guns. I see it blue. Minimize. Pick drop said. date from Nut House. Bandit group now 040 from Elsenborn track north. Five miles. Retreat's hit hard in RTP. Roger, uh, Dingo, make three, turn three three zero, approach two two three two zero. We're gonna push out. Those bandits are too close for comfort. That has pushes Charlie. Yellow two, you're being marked by flag. Do maneuvers. Copy. Three sky. Anyone have eyes? No, no, watch the flag. We're flying over it. I, th I think Red Three needs to bail. Am I across the front line? Uh, on the edge, keep pushing if you can a little further. Roger, I, got, I can fly, but my right wing's shredded and I got no right out uh, and uh, the other out. It's just a scratch. Blue four, I'm on black. full left stick. <laughs> Dingo, what's your heading? Three, two, zero. Uh, we're Roger Angel there. 7 currently. Nice on you, we're just west of you. Not sure. We'll keep ourselves between the bandits and you as we still as we've all used our Yellow two Dix. remain ten heading. Dixie right head orbit. Uh Dingo call signs we will look to RTP after this. Uh, so anyone that's got ordnance left, I would jettison. Dingo call signs checking channel Delta. Red one. Red 2 is down. Red 4. Thank you. Yellow 1, I see Red 3 shoot. Good news, thank you. Yellow 2 left ahead. Blue 1. Blue 2. Blue 3. Blue 4. Roger. We're just in the red section is to initial. Yellow follow me in, and that's blue is better placed. Blue is trailing yellow. Roger. Follow me in then. Uh, Red 4, switch my right, please. Red 4, break. Yellow 2, com check. Yellow 2. 5 by 5. We want in the break. Blue 2 at the break. Blue 4 is in, in front of me. I'll be in the back. Blue 2 base, visual 1 ahead. Killer 1 in the break.
Hit a two, break. Blue one finals, one ahead, landing left. A blue four to blue three, I'll just go in ahead of you, yes. Roger. Check. Apologies. No worries. Blue three, turning base. Blue four on finals, two ahead. Two finals. One ahead. Yellow one turning base. Blue three on final three ahead. 